Hi, welcome to the children's message. I'm Teresa. Jesus calls us to serve one another. We learn this from the book of Mark in the New Testament, which is all about teaching lessons on how to live your life. Mark, the author of the book, was not one of Jesus' 12 disciples, but he was a friend of Paul's and of Peter's, who were disciples. He tells a story about James and John, also disciples. So a disciple is a student. Here we have these, these 12 men are disciples, students of Jesus, the teacher. The disciples are learning how to live their lives and how to pass that information on to others. So let's read the scripture, Mark 10, 35 through 45. Then James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to him. Teacher, they said, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. What do you want me to do for you? He asked. They replied, Let one of us sit at your right and the other at your left in glory. You don't know what you're asking, Jesus said. Can you drink the cup I drink or be baptized with the baptism I am baptiz baptized with? We can, they answered. And Jesus said to them, You will drink the cup I drink and be baptized with the baptism I am baptized with. But to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. These places belong to those for whom have been prepared. When the 10 heard about this, they became indignant with James and John. Jesus called them together and said, you know that those are regarded as rulers of the Gentiles, lord it over them, and their high officials exercise authority over them. And whoever wants to be first must be a slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. <coughs> it's okay if you don't understand the scripture reading, uh, if it's not clear to you. I like to read the scripture as it appears in the Bible, so that if you read it on your own, it will not sound foreign and maybe you'll even become familiar with the dialogue. With practice um, and enough time, you will be able to interpret it on your own. So back to the scripture. James and John were brothers and they were becoming very full of themselves. They felt, felt very self-important as Jesus' disciples. They wanted power and authority and Jesus pretty much shut them down. At this time, they didn't understand what his being here meant. The other 10 disciples became angry at James and John for asking such a thing. So Jesus gathered, gathered all of them together to explain what true greatness was. To be great is to serve others. Jesus came to earth by, and to teach us to how to live, to love us, and to serve in the ultimate way. There are many ways uh, for us to serve others. This can be through acts of kindness, volunteering your time, or donating to a charity. You may let someone else step in front of you uh, when you're waiting in line. You may pick up something that someone dropped and hand it back to them. You may give a fellow student a pencil if they forgot theirs at school. Your parents will like this one. Clean up your room without being told. Clear the dinner table. Do your chores without complaint. You could volunteer your time by picking up trash at the local park. You could donate a blanket to a homeless person. You could donate food to a food bank, or you could donate socks to a shelter. When you get older, you can donate blood to the Red Cross or help with Habitat Build. We can make our lives better and the others around us by serving others. Look for opportunities each day. They could be small or they could be big, but they're all important. Jesus served us, so let us continue his work so that we may strive for greatness. If you follow the Griffith First United Methodist Church on Facebook, we have our uh, Sunday sermons every 
every Sunday at 11.15 in the morning. We are also meeting in person. We post a new children's message every Wednesday afternoon. Thank you for watching. Peace be with you.